it's Ty Bug, and today I'm going to show you how I get a week's worth of schoolwork done in three days. Yes, you heard me right. Three days and you're done. You got the rest of the week to yourself. So I'm going to be completely honest with you and say this probably only works if you have an asynchronous schedule. An asynchronous schedule is when you get your work at the beginning of the week and then you have a due date at probably like at the end of the week where you have to get everything done by then. But you don't have like set class times where you have to log on to Zoom or anything. It took me about three semesters to get this plan foolproof. So I'm going to show you what works for me. I'm kind of going to be a little bit vague about my schedule so like I don't put my whole schedule on the internet, but this is how you guys will be able to do it. I took the first couple of weeks of this semester to make sure it still applied, and it does. So this will be really helpful for all of you guys, I hope. So I made a list. You can't see it, but it's a list of how you guys can achieve this as well. So the first step is obviously your workspace. You wanna be in a space that's gonna be comfortable for you to work for a couple of hours. I know everyone has different situations at home or wherever you are studying, but you wanna be able to sit with your computer, laptop or desktop, I don't mind, and have notes. Step two is probably the most important step hands down, and that is finding your optimal working hours. What I mean by optimal working hours is when you focus the best, when you get the most work done, and when you can focus for the longest. So this took me so long to figure out. Like throughout high school, you didn't have a choice. You went to school when school started, you ended school when school ended. But with asynchronous learning, you can make your own schedule. But I couldn't figure out what my schedule was. So this is where trial and error comes into play. And I know we hate hearing that, you just want an answer right away, but it's really, I had to do trial and error to figure it out for myself. So what I figured out is I can't work in the mornings. I just, I can't. <laughs> uh, I take the mornings to do other stuff that doesn't require intense focus like school and just, I do other stuff. Then after lunch, that is when I get started with my work. So that is my optimal working time, after lunch to before dinner. So that's a good chunk of time, but that's not like the whole day. So you must be thinking, how do I get my work done in that short amount of time? And let me tell you, it takes a lot of focus, but I can do it. And if I can do it, you guys can do it too. I believe in you. An easy way to figure out when your optimal working time is, is to figure out what chronotype you are. There's an easy quiz you can take on the internet. I think it's by this doctor guy. I don't remember his name, but I'll link him down below. And like, it asks you questions about uh, your personal schedule, like when you wake up, when you go to bed, when you eat, when you focus, all that type of stuff. Um, Hi, Mika. Hi, Mika. And then at the end, it'll tell you like what chronotype you are, like a bear, a dolphin, a wolf. Uh, there's one more. I don't remember what the last one is. But then that will tell you when your optimal working time is. So if you don't want to do trial and error, I just recommend doing that. Because I did trial and error, and then I took the um, chronotype test, and then I figured out like, okay, those meshed together. My answers were similar. Okay, so step three is to know your classes. So here... Here's where I wrote down all my classes. I wrote down how many classes I have, when the class starts in the semester, when the class ends in the semester. Then, I'll show you this in just a second, but I'm gonna blur out what classes I do because that's personal. But it is, I wrote down what class it is, what's the title of it, what number it is, and then below that I wrote what online sources I needed to complete those classes. Because this semester, all my teachers figured, let's just try different online things. Let's just do something completely different from everyone else. And then didn't tell us about it. And then just sent us links to all these different websites that we've never signed up for. So that was fun. <laughs> and with asynchronous learning, every teacher has their own website they want you to work from. And then they have outside websites that they want you to get stuff from. So that was really important for me for this semester since everything is online and teachers are getting kind of bold with what websites they use. So underneath what class it is, I write what websites I need. Then next to that, I write when my final due dates are for the entire semester. So if I do slack off, I know when my end time is. And right next to what um, class I'm taking, I write when 
the due dates are each week. So I have it right there, right where I can see it. So you never forget you have another class. Like you're just in the middle of semester and realize, oh my god, I had a biology class and I haven't done anything. This way you know every single class you have, when you have it, where you have it. Step four is to know what tasks you have during the week. So for me, I found out that online, writing stuff online doesn't work for me at all. I had to handwrite everything. So I have three little notepads where I write out each of my classes, all the tasks for each of my classes during the week. So I write them in order of, so each class has its own section. I write down what the tasks are for that class, then I start a new section for the next class. And I write them in order of when my first due date is. So I have one class that instead of due during the end of the week, it's due in the middle of the week. So that's my first due date. So that's the class I need to prioritize the most. After that, if you have multiple classes that are due on the same due date, then you write which class is the hardest. Because harder classes, you need to focus more, obviously. So after I write down first due date, hardest class, then I do which is the most time consuming. Because you may have a super easy class, but it may have you do tasks that are like, take you three hours to do. Like I have this one class where I have to do 48 hours worth of something, so that's obviously going to be the most time consuming and it's going to be important for me to know at the beginning of the week. So once you're writing your tasks, I would recommend on the first day when everything is assigned, that is your first day of work. So my first day where everything is assigned is a Monday. So that is the day I work the hardest and that is the day where I do the most work. That's the day I write down all my tasks, where I look at all the due dates, and where I actually start working on my first due date and my hardest classes. So your first day is going to be your hardest, it's going to be the day you don't want to do anything and it's just going to be something you're going to have to push yourself for really hard. But this is where my favorite step comes in. And that is step number five, which is reward yourself. So I don't work straight through my lunch to dinner hours. I take breaks in between literally like each task maybe. I'll either look at YouTube, I'll look at Twitter, I'll look at something else. But that's what I found helps me to do the most work consistently is to take breaks. And not just like take a break to go do chores or something, but like actually take a break where you can relax either your body, your mind, even step away from the computer if you need to. But taking a break is how I get the best work done consistently. Okay, so those are all my steps. I'm just gonna say them real quickly so you guys can get them in your head again. So one, make sure you have a good workspace. Make sure you know what your optimal hours are for focusing. Know what your classes are. Know what your tasks are, tasks are for the week, and reward yourself. Those are my five steps to get a week's worth of class done in three days. So now I'm going to show you my workspace and how I write everything out, just in case you guys need to know that. This is all my notebooks. I have each of my notebooks out at all times so I don't forget to do a certain class, and I have them all color-coded. These are from Target. I think they're just like a dollar. Then I have my Silly Putty, also from Target. I got these stamps just so I could uh, play with my work while I'm doing it. And these are from Daiso. They're just a dollar. I have nail polish here just for fun. And then my washi tape, little bear dispenser in case I need to take anything together. Then water. Stay hydrated at all times. Uh, this is just some fun motivation I did for myself. I colored in a notepad. I'm so tired of this. And that's for um, YouTube stuff. Then my laptop and then a candle for fun. And this is where I, this is my list for um, my video, this video. This is where I write down all my tasks. So my first task is this class, and then I write down each task. And when I'm done, I check it off. And then once I'm done with my, the entire task list for this class, then I cross out the class. And I don't do it like each class one at a time. I kind of mesh it together and do whatever is easiest at the time or when I can focus on the most but the first one is always the first due date so I always do this one usually all together so then this is where I wrote down all my classes so 
I wrote down what semester it is, how many courses I have, the first date and the last date, then I did a cool little design, and then class, when they're due each week, all my sources, and when the last due date is. So I did that for each of my classes, and then I posted it right next to my computer so I could see it at all times. And then this is where I have all my pens and stuff and just fun stuff. So yeah, that's my workspace. Those are my five steps on how you finish a week's worth of school in three days and then you have the rest of the week to yourself. I hope that was helpful for you guys and um, I explained it well enough. If you guys need any more help, feel free to comment down below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. I will always respond. It may take me a little bit of time to respond, but I'll get on it. <laughs> um, let me know if you are trying this without an asynchronous schedule, how it goes for you. Um, if you need any tips on that, because I did have some classes last semester that weren't asynchronous. They were originally in person, but then they switched to online. So um, I figured out a way to get stuff done in three days still then. So let me know if you need help with that. Um, any other questions or comments, put them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are healthy and safe, and I will see you guys next week or the week after, depending on how school is going. Bye, I love you guys.